Y perms can be recognized by having both of these 2x1 blocks here and here and a single corner that is in between these two blocks. Also notice that the colors on the corner are opposite colors to the blocks. That's because the Y perm is an opposite corner swap. So these two corners swap and also these two adjacent edges get swapped. The Y perm algorithm may seem long, but it's actually made of two OLO algorithms. The first part and the second part of Y perm each solve a different OLO case. And when put together, they happen, they just happen to rearrange the last layer into a Y perm. So the algorithm goes like this. Now that you know Y perm, technically you do know two more full OLO cases. So the first one is this fish shape with uh, two bars here and here. This one actually kind of looks like a Y perm, but yeah, it's a fish shape OLO and it can be solved using the first half of Y perm like this. The second full OLO case is this T shape here. So if you hold the T shape horizontally like this, uh, and you have two of these bars on either side, one towards you and one towards the back, then you can use the second half of Y perm to solve this case, which is just sexy sledge. All right, now that we know Y perm and two more OLOs, we can talk about AUF. So AUF for Y perm can be recognized by looking at these two blocks. I normally look at this block at the front here because, um, you know, it's at the front, it's easier to see. Uh, and this block won't move during the algorithm. So uh, I can use that to recognize AUF. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. See you next time.